again and welcome back. Back into Destiny, still working on the uh, Sunsinger and the Taken King DLC. I've made some progress in this, of course, but still missing quite a bit, as you can see. Let's see, go back to the tower, grab some bounty, see if the gunsmith gets his stuff today or if it's tomorrow. If it is tomorrow, that's a good thing because that means we can attempt to get a sword from uh, Shax if we give him the Hadium Flex he needs to create the new sword. Because I think it's all done on the same day. I'm not sure. Like I said, it's been a while since I've played, so I don't know what the reset for all that stuff is. And off we go. At least with the uh, bounties, I know I can get some extra XP for my uh, subclass. Still don't know why I can't use my um, special item that I had gotten for having the Taken King Collector's Edition. You can see that it had already been, I, I've mentioned this before, used and leveled up and everything. Interesting, they call this an Arc Mage. Head back to Xander, then we'll head to Banshee 44 and see if he has new guns to test. Diane, we can't do that one because we didn't do it. 20 orbs of light, 50 cabal, Dex Pictures and Ultras, and then Patrol the Dreadnought again. So is it today? You've come to the no, right it is place. not sweet, so that means it's possible it safe. we get enough Hadium Flake. Let's see, need five more. So let's head back into the uh, Dreadnought. Not the best of things to watch, I know. It's not actual story and whatnot, which I should be doing. chest or get lucky and get one of those keys so I can get an extra that way. You really do visit the most charming places. Grab this. I think there is that one to kill in the dreadnought as well. So I need to do uh, one more of those. So I'll pick that up after I check in here, see if there's a chest. I know there's this one, but sometimes another one of those free chests is uh, available to grab as well. Go settle them down. I don't think I 
have a room. Nope. Alright, let's go kill this leader. I'll get a little bit more done for the uh, mission. Let's see. I don't think I've ever seen a chest in here. Doesn't hurt to check. Alright, let's go. and that's why I should have went. I hate that it does that. Sometimes it'll tell you to go around to the other side over here, but the actual place you needed to be was inside the Cabal ship. Yep. One check up there. Yep. that as well, kill one of those, um, so we can get the uh, Arknock room charge again. You can do it once a day, when you need seven charges, so it takes seven days to uh, charge it, so you can get the um, special little mission for that. Which, since I don't need that anymore, switch back to this so we can get some extra um, orbs of light dropped. Orbs of light count too if you uh, get the double kill and everything. So that might count since I just dropped one apparently. Instead of having to use my super, you can use that to uh, get the uh, 20 orbs of light easier. Cade an update. I guess we'll go out this way since uh, we didn't see the uh, beacons in this area. Go and collect in the uh, beacon things. I don't want to do it on this one. I know I got a thing from Amanda Holiday to get to like level 3 on one of those. It's not easy to do that in this area. Um, let's check in here and see if there's any chests. is done, that's three more medium flakes moved.
Oh damn. Last one. This is part two. Part three. That's the last one. of light dropped. Grab that. I don't need it, but it doesn't hurt. We can use it to uh, level up our uh, faction if they're taking it. That one requires a special key. Yeah, the weirding. No other chest in here. Alright. Let's go see if we can get the uh, Target kill mission in this area over here. Might go ahead and pop a uh, reciprocal rune in and do that fight. Right there in that little arena area. Nope, just kill anything in it. So this is the key of Naka, I believe. Yeah, we checked that one before. This one requires a special thing to get. If you get too close, it'll start hurting you. Not like that. But you can cheese it if you have a sword. What's it called right now? It's also something apparently I can scan. Or is it telling me about the fragment? Uh, there's something to scan somewhere, but not close. Usually it'll highlight it and make it flash. Oh, there it is. Another soul confined in crystal? I thought only Ascendant Hive bore the honor of being trapped in rock for centuries, but this is a lesser hive. Must have been a hard worker. <laughs> There's a, a special thing you can get that will allow you immunity in this area, so you can get that chest. I don't know exactly what spawns it or how it works. Check out real that. The sensor beacons are showing a high concentration of enemy targets. Go remind them the Vanguard controls the Dreadnought now. So this area over here is all poisoned, unless you use a room to open it up. If I stand on this, I'll start getting hurt. And I won't receive any healing until I land in a safe spot. So this is where you can use your rooms. This one's like one of the harder rooms, medium room, and then easy room, which is your recipient. Or maybe it's the other way, so it's easy, medium, and hard, I don't know, something like that. Since I don't have any of those, it must be, yeah, this is the easy. So it's these things here, and then you have a chance of getting harder ones by doing these, I think. We do have the e Skyburner's command key, that'd give us another chest. Let's see if I can do this by myself. You can see it cleans out. There's a chest there. I don't know if you get a Hadeon Flake for that or not. But you gotta get close to this and get it somewhere. She disappears, goes to different spots. You gotta look for her, so kill her. She can be anywhere under, above. So it just keeps teleporting around. See how <laughs> I'm getting overwhelmed. 
you had people helping, you could uh, make it much easier on yourself. the summoner's exhaustion. Yeah, you can see it gives you weak stuff. But now that I have a stolen rune, you have to charge it up. A rune that grows in power to summon and banish enemies with reciprocal rooms. And then you can use it to fight an even tougher battle. Sometimes I think it might be like a two enemies and stuff. It might just be the uh, taking event in this area. Though. I got something. The tech which is broached, but yeah, it wasn't the uh, special event. I think after you fight it, like the little orb was supposed to spawn in. Alright. We'll head out of here and head back to one of the other locations.
hate that they teleport around like that. Maybe we get lucky and have this one be I doubt it. We're still getting some arcade weeks so that makes sense. Uh, yeah, a little worthwhile, I guess. Let's see. Nope, didn't get another one just going in. I will grab this one and uh, delete it. That way I can have another grab two pop in when they do decide to change. So you can see the uh, orbs of light. We are dropping them with the uh, Telesto's ability. Alright. There's a kill on the target one. And that'll be the last one we need to do. Still need to find those chests though, so not doing myself any favors when I'm um, doing these things. I guess we are getting the XP for killing things and whatnot. Guardian, we've got a most wanted enemy target in your area. Take him down. All right. This one seems to be in a different area. Finally. So we've not been this way yet. You, I would personally think, I guess it is a hive uh, ship, but... Oh, there's another uh, classified fragment. Um, that there would be more taken in it since he took all those people and he took himself as well. So I don't know how that works. I guess I could have used the Telesto and got an orb of light drop from that. So these guys, the Warden's Knights, are, um, there's three of them, and they each have different shields. So that one's got an arc shield, I think this guy has a sh solar shield, but uh, his is void, so the other side over here is just solar shield. If you kill them quick enough together, yeah, it'll open that door behind them, and that, I believe, is how you charge up your sword or something like that. I can't remember the exact details on all that. Um, I think there's a... Yeah, that's my dragon back here. And then this is where you can use your charged Arbanoc to uh, start a, another one of those 
fight type things in here. I think near in the middle or something where those knights are. I know it's not those warden knights. Maybe the door opens for me. Oh, I can get through there. You can see the uh, red uh, mark for where the uh, target is. give up. Um, I'm just going to go to orbit and come back in. I don't feel like trying to fight my way all the way back out and then trying to get back to another one. So this to me is the easiest and the quickest way to do this. Sucks it. I, even though I'm here, it won't let me go back in. Just turn around. All right, let's go. This ship certainly takes some getting used to. Alright. Did we get lucky? We did not. Alright, let's see about if we got maybe lucky with a chest on in this uh, little area back here. Check this one. Ah, we did get lucky with this. So that puts us to. Uh, Two more to get. I'm gonna grab this uh, patrol beacon and delete it. Let's see if we can get lucky and have a uh, kill the target. The Pop in. All right. Check in here. Another one free, nice. Guess we are full of glimmer, so we're not getting glimmer anymore. Not that we need it anyway. Get rid of this one. Check it out. This well. can't be right. Guardian, I got a node near you emitting high levels of energy off the charts. Go check it out and get some readings. I know there's one that can spawn way deep in here, so I'll go check it out as well. 
giving me a little bit more time to let the uh, beacons respawn. Yep, there it is. Nice. That should be the last one. Check our inventory. Do we have? Yes, we do. Sweet. We have the 25 we need, so we can give that to Shax when we go back to the uh, tower. I need to be doing that I haven't been paying attention to. Fight creatures to quench orders and to find the other half the tech which is brooch. That's the one from Amanda. Create uh, 25 orbs using the radiance. Um, you'll be taking centurion in the bottom best of the Oh, I didn't realize we had got that as well. 15 taken with precision damage on the dreadnought. So that's one of those special extra missions you can get in here. I guess for doing the reciprocal room, maybe. Um, I guess we'll go look for the taken um, little thing to pop in. There it is. See if it gives me a different one as well. after. He did. Kill 30 enemies on the dreadnought with void damage without dying. Alright, I don't have a void walker because I'd already mastered it. I do have this. That's three. Special ammo. Always nice. Get another two for. Maybe we get lucky. Nope, not lucky. I was hoping maybe since we were kind of close to that, he would uh, give us some more special ammo. Sad. What four more orbs of light we dropped? Here again, no chest. Not that we need them, but I don't know. 
damage. Need more of the radium uh, plates. Or something. We could do this. I can go ahead and do this one time. And now let's go ahead and just come back. I'm going to recon team. Right, so I'm going to switch off of that since we are running low on support. This should bring in a whole bunch of yellow bars. Yep, like everybody should be yellow. I might drop six orbs of light. Nice, I will pick those up. I'm not exactly sure what he did. I guess that was a Nova bomb. Hello, okay. I'm all right. Thank you very much for asking. How about yourself? How are you doing, my friend? And then oh, nice. There's our deployment codes and another chest. Glad you are doing good. Tina Compass here? Yeah, I saw that. Got the update. Their comp is here. Balter can reach like a infinite amount of HP. Nice. And Angelica can still one shot him. <laughs> cool. So, yes, we do have another one. Summon foes with a stolen rune and defeat them in under two minutes. Yeah, that's not going to happen because I don't have a stolen rune charged and I'm not good enough to um, kill them by myself with the. Uh, gear I have. Fill that up. Still need to do some more kills with this. So I don't think we have enough or the light dropped. There it is. Ouch. thing we were looking for is one of these. 
So the big meta changer Heads up, unit. Wait, yep. Mission for you. There's a heavy hitter loose on the dreadnought. Think you can handle it? I saw that. Um, she's got like max health 212. Can't be target of buffs or uh, debuffed. But if she dies, she uh, changes everything by debuffing the enemy team and buffing your team if they can receive buffs. So I guess that's why Seto uh, doesn't have the ability to take or give uh, or buffs. Above prohibition is OP, yep. Sento, Angelica, Eden, Grand, those are the ones to go for, right? Grand Hilda is still a uh, unnecessary unit. Alright. Gotta turn that one in. We still need to do the reciprocal runes for the tech witches thingy. Um, still need the 10,000 XP without dying in. I think I'll head back this way and, uh, Looking to go into the uh, reciprocal room and see if there's anybody over there. Maybe we can get lucky and uh, have somebody there so we can help them and actually get that done. I doubt it though. Yep, Seto is definitely going to be everywhere. Um, it's too bad that like the other uh, six devils don't have any. Benefits or abilities. Grant is so new now, right? I think that's who I would be uh, pulling for if I was going to use up some of the uh, stuff I have. I know I don't have any way of actually bringing her up to par. Give this a look to see if there's anybody over here. Maybe help them with the uh, reciprocal runes. If not, I'll give that up for now. There is somebody in here. Nice. They are not over at the uh, place though. Rafi is still going to be okay, but you really need to put her to the best place. Right, exactly. And you want her at least like plus 12 so you can get the full benefit of her 5x5 five five tile. I 
this guy. You have to kill all of the uh, Taken guys around here in order to pull the shields off. Found it. Sweet. Grab all that. Hey, we leveled up as well. Yeah, Angie's definitely a good one to have as well. Grand's Echo, the new meta changer unit, Ventina, Angelica will be everywhere. It's going to be almost impossible to find them without any of those units, right? Let's level this up. Grab that. Now we'll have a flame shield any time we punch something. I, I don't know which one he did. Oh, it's the knight back here, I believe. Oh, this is the uh, ogre, which I hate as well. The ogre, you have to get him. Um, you have to get these cursed thrall to blow up near him in order to. Uh, get his shield off, that's the only way to take it. when the other four octos get their first of things. It depends on if they add anybody else of uh, value like um, a game change shirt Ventina and stuff. Kill them all pretty quickly, like so. It'll uh, end it if you don't kill them quickly. Um, it'll continue to go because they'll respawn and everything. So, like one, if you kill one and the other two are still alive, eventually that one will come back to life, and then it just keeps going like that. I'm really excited for Belfort plus 15 I think it'll be more OP than Nartis. It's very possible. I don't know which one they did. I wasn't paying attention. Hopefully I'm uh, able to assist them. 
kill the war mark. I think that's the knight. The one rune, I believe, charged up. When the Octos came in, Velvrin was everywhere. Well, those times back. <laughs> so, yeah, we did charge up our stolen rune so we could use it now, which is a much difficult fight. me to it. I attempted to use this though I wonder since that was a thing I needed to do. Alright so this is the two you got to get the um taken knight and the regular knight together in order to rip their shields off. It's because they have like an impenetrable shield without being close together so you want to like lure them together. Dead, the other shields will be gone too. Alright, so we got everything we needed to do for Petra. I'm trying to do a slow one right if I can. Gotta wait for it to turn off. There we go. I think my stolen room will work first. We'll see who it says to get near the portal. Me, so it was. This is the two Warlogs of the Night and uh Krogar is the ogre, I believe. Yep. So the ogre's got the impenetrable shield. That one you have to do three of the stolen runes to charge it up, so that's why he was happy or wanted me to do the stolen rune I had. Alright, let's turn in that one that we got lucky on. And Mork, another Cuspel Fragment. Level up some more with all those bounties we did. This one's almost ready to go. I was playing that time, but Guitar Rock was, so if you want to see an old grand deck, you can. Check uh, our program. 
progress and see if there's anything else we need to do. I know we need to go to yeah, Petra Binge and the Reef. We need to go to Akura Ray and the Tower. That one's Petra as well. Uh, that one's Amanda's. We gotta do like I was gonna do on her. Do some stuff on the Amanda Venus. That's the strikes. There's some others we're not gonna worry about. Did they do an antiquated room? I think they did an antiquated room. That's definitely gonna be very hard for me to help. Because I'm not exactly sure what we need to do on that. I think we can stand down here. Kill. If you kill the right thing, it'll open up a new path and craft it for you. It's gonna be any good for me. Alright, time to go. So that was an antiquated rune. They get more and more challenging as you can see. The stolen runes give you uh, two bosses. That one gives you an even harder, more um, intricate way of fighting this special boss. I remember times when no one except Alec went through defenses. Was the used unit. Then, well, Amina, with the usual 90k damage, what went through defense was the used unit. <laughs> yeah, they keep changing it, which is cool. I mean, I'm not hating this because we are getting some XP for it, but I'm also not doing uh, the other stuff I should be doing as well. Warlogs, the uh, knight. Gotta wait for him. Not even really doing anything but standing here and getting XP. Now will Hamina don't really worth it much. Yeah, I guess except for maybe the war boss, maybe. Alright, let's get out of here and go do some of these things, turn them in and whatnot. Yeah, well not really me, it's them. But yeah, I'm not hurting anything either, because I do I am on their level like forty plus four hundred uh, light level on my uh, gear. Then I must be thinking of a different um, lady. I thought she was the one who uh, was good on the uh, floor boss. Oops, I keep doing that. Um, watch. There we go. For world bosses, woman. Well, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Who was I thinking of then? Maybe it's Sabrina. I can't remember. So was my assistance in uh, scouting out 4, 5, and 6 any good for your uh, guild? Sabrina is a supporter, yeah.
No, true, very true. It wasn't a top yo. Did they even attack you? Because last we looked, there was no attacks from them to you. We can still use your help. All right, Petra wishes to speak with you in the reef. Excellent work, Cardi. If we can keep the Taken scattered and leaderless, they will be that much easier to defeat. We will eliminate the Taken. I heard that much. Get us a new vehicle, the Sparrow Velumbra. Velumbra. <laughs> you think they fear us? <laughs> Very possible. The reef thanks you. All right. A tech witch's brooch. The witches were the, with the queen in her final moments. The fact that it remains in all intact. I'm going to put all of our all of the resources I can muster into a search of my own, and we will see who is more determined: the Taken or the Awoken. Thank you, Claudia. Good. Now we owe you. Let's see. Experience. Special wanted on Mars. Tenants on the Cosmodrome, three strikes in the strike playlist. I should probably do that. I'll tell you everything I can. Defeat 50 minions of the darkness before completing the challenge of the elders. And take him with precision. Good hunt. Yeah, we'll grab these. If they get in the way, Ready? I can delete them. Thanks, you. Another level up for my uh, subclass. Go ahead and decrypt some of these. Let's see what you have. Can't do that since we are already full of glimmer. Rather regrets. Nice, we got some uh, legendaries from the uh, rares. So what did this one do? It increases the duration of radiance. Okay, so it gives me longer radiance time. Three ninety. I'll get rid of the blues. I know I'm losing the glimmer that I could get from deleting these things, but I'm not really worried about glimmer. I can get tons more if I want it. So this is the sparrow we got from her. Just the basic uh, sparrow. Nothing special. Where calamity goes, I imagine you won't be far behind. Huh. All right, we did again miss some stuff from the uh, area because we were full of the uh, gear. Shall I take a message? They had a lot of max budging comps. I don't know if they were pay to win or just insane luck. Very good Thank question. Need to delete something here. Do I have any green IDs? Get that one. That way I can grab this blue here. Transfer log. Delete it. Grab that back. Confirmed. Closing communication. Decrypt these things, then we'll head to the tower and talk to the people there. I think it's just a core array. Planes, can you adjust the hood before you get it right? Engrams from the Taken require a good eye. My, you guys, you come here, you take our finest things. Handy sidearm. I don't like sidearms. Alright, now we will head to the top. Have you had any luck on getting the um, Regionette skin or costume or whatever you want to call it? 
No. I guess I just got lucky and that dropped the right one, huh? <laughs> I still don't have her on the America server. Speaking of, have you uh, done any more work on the America server side? Ten swords. <laughs> I know you don't like the arena. Yeah, I do it just to get the uh, rewards. That's all. That's the only reason why I'm fighting it. <laughs> um. All oh, right. Got something back there as well because we. Level up the future war goal. Go talk to a Corvée. How are you feeling? Morning, darling. Alright, you have done well, very well. Still, I sense greatness along the path before you. Only by standing in the full light of soul will you find what it means to be a sun sinker. Return when you have found the answer to the question the light poses. All part of the plan. To hear the sun's song is one thing. To sing with the fire of soul in your heart is quite another. You have my respect, Guardian. It is traditional among our ranks to offer a challenge at this point in your training. Your ghost should have the information. I wish you luck. I thought you'd take care of it. Watch yourself out there. Play a strike and kill 20 enemies while surrounded with radiance or something like that. Hmm. We are bounty one more devil captain, Cordillera Blanca. Disruption resolved. Grab that so I can go read it later. You can, um, so I have the, what is it? This right here, I think. Resupply codes? No, it's the network keys. So if I take this and I put it in the um, vault, I can sit on it and it's like a free 200 glimmer. And you can do that. And like So you can keep saving money that way if you want. That way you can have tons of uh, glimmer whenever you need it if you're trying to farm something. I don't know exactly what you can use glimmer for. I guess you could buy armor parts and stuff, and then you can this is a um, trigger move. it in here. Let's begin. Um, let's see. So, what should we get? Should we get a regular armor? Should we get a chroma armor, or should we get a weapon? It doesn't matter since we're all gonna get. Uh, I think either four hundred or three ninety. I think it's three ninety from these. The two hundred seventy, two hundred seven megabyte update was interesting. Yeah. Chroma armor. All right. So yeah, you can use the um, glimmer to buy the yeah the weapon parts and then the armor materials. So you can trade it in to get more packages for free. So if I turn this in, you can see right now that we're at uh, 164 out of 2,500. Give her one, and now we're at 214. So it's a free thing you can do. And that's you can use your glimmer to buy the these two things and just keep turning it in. You can also use your glimmer to buy the special ammo sense, the heavy ammo sense, and um, you can use your legendary march to buy the uh, materials from the planets to uh, turn those in. And then when you level up, you get the motes of light, so you can turn those in. I think these are worth the most. So you can get your future war packages and get the armors and special weapons and ghost shells and stuff. This war has no end, Guardian. So let's see, chroma armor was boots, so it is 400. So you can uh, give it a color. I don't have any of it, I don't think. So it'll light up with that, um, and you can change it and activate it. Um, Let's see, do I have any chroma? No. So the chroma would be in your ornaments right here. In the update animation, the guy gave a vital rune to Hygen, who does the <laughs> Well, I guess that's uh, part of the thing. A lot of people don't know how to use the proper runes and stuff in that game, as you've seen many times yourself.
just don't understand like what's the appropriate way to do things and whatnot. So if you come to the gunsmith, Banshee 44 here, you can buy those, like I said, um, armor materials for 250, the weapon parts for 250, and then these for 950 and uh, 250. But it takes four of these, and I think it's 25 for these. So I don't know what the best value is, but it's a good way to use your glimmer up. And since you get glimmer pretty much for free all over the place, I keep using it up to uh, keep leveling up and getting stuff. So if I wanted to keep leveling her up, so there's some things, I don't know if it's still available, where you can get the special class item from them. Um, for each of them, so like there's the future war cult, there's dead orbit that's below her, and then there's the new monarchy over there. Why hygiene and why hygiene? Who uses hygiene now? I don't. I haven't, but I don't even try to use. Him. Yeah, I understand that. All right, well, we've gone a little bit over the hour, which is usually where I call it for uh, a gameplay. So I'll be taking my normal 10-minute break, after which we'll come back to play some uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake on the PlayStation 4. So if you'd like to see some of that, please come back in about 10 minutes. If not, thank you for dropping by. I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you later.